on our way We're on the right track Australians have always been good at fighting back With a little more strength and patience We'll see Australia right Nothing worth having ever happens overnight Together, let's stick together See the children looking to the future Whatever it is, whatever it will be It's up to you and me to guarantee Keep us an Australia proud and strong Give us a future we can really build on Cause the future is in our eyes See the children looking to the future Written and authorised by our hog for the Australian Labour Party Canberra just sign here, Adam. You've cut my wages. Just sign it, mate. That's fifty dollars a week less. Adam, you want to work, don't you? <laughs> yeah, but not for next to nothing. Dr. Hewson wants you to throw away awards and sign employment contracts. Sign. You can either lose your wages. No. It's not fair. Or lose your job. Next. With Dr. Hewson's employment contracts, Next. you're on your own. Authorized by AHOG for the Australian Labor Party camera. The message was very similar in 1996. You don't have to like him, but you've got to respect him. But you've got to respect him. Who's the best political leader? It has to be Keating. It has to be Keating. It has to be Keating. It can't be Johnny Howard. Imagine him. If Oscars were handed out to politicians, I reckon John Howard would be odds on for best actor in a pretending role. I just don't see how he can now pretend to care about workers when for all his political life he's voted against nearly every wage increase. Not just once or twice. Howard's voted against wage increases nearly every single time. I reckon Howard's worth another Academy Award for pretending when he says he won't cut wages or put workers on contracts. In my game, pretending's harmless. Harmless entertainment. But when it comes to your job security and workplace protection, playing pretends is a very dangerous game indeed. You be careful on March the 2nd. Authorised by Bill Hunter for the ALP, Canberra. To ensure we are a nation of achievers and achievements, we must make sure that all Australians have access to a good education. I can't stand by while John Howard takes away the chance of every Australian child to excel. So let me tell you what I stand for and what I won't stand for. I stand for education priority zones and investing in our teachers and our needy schools. And I won't stand for millions of dollars being squandered on elite Category 1 schools at the expense of all others. A secure future for all Australians. That's what I stand for. Authorised by G. Walsh, ALP Canberra. Australians are ready. I feel it everywhere I go. Australians are ready to be rewarded for hard work. Australians are ready for a tax system where we pay our fair share and no more. Australians are ready for a government that relieves the pressure and creates opportunities for all of us. Australians are ready, Labor's ready and I'm ready. On October 9, vote Labor. Authorised by T. Gartrell, ALP Button. The greatest fear for any parent is seeing their kids get sick in the middle of the night, not being able to get them to a doctor. That's why Labor will work with the states to take the pressure off our hospitals. We'll set up GP after hour clinics, we'll establish Medicare teams with bulk billing doctors, and we'll get the bulk billing rate back up to where it used to be, 80%. We'll take the pressure off hospital emergency departments and save Medicare. Labor will fix our hospitals before it's too late. Mark Latham and Labor, taking the pressure off hospitals. Authorised Ursula Stevens, ALP Sydney. Most Australians think Mr Howard's work choices laws have gone too far. Cutting basic rights like overtime, penalty rates, leave loadings, 
not to mention job security. And so I've been talking to business and to working families across Australia because I'm determined to get the balance right. I believe in two core principles. One, flexibility for business to keep our economy strong. Two, every working man and woman deserves to be treated fairly in the workplace. If elected, we'll replace Mr Howard's work choices laws and his unfair AWAs with a better system. We'll protect the fair and reasonable rights and conditions of all employees, but we'll also provide flexibility for business, including small business, and give protection from any unlawful interference. The key thing is to get the balance right, to go confidently into the future with a strong economy, but one that also delivers for Australian working families. Authorised Tim Gartrell for the ALP Canberra. I'm committed to creating schools that prepare our kids for success in jobs and in life. I'm delivering even more trades training centres for schools and creating trade cadetships to get more young people into apprenticeships, continuing to install computers in schools and establishing a national curriculum with a focus on the basics. Together, let's move Australia forward. Authorised Dan Martin, Australian Labor Party, Canberra. Australian families deserve better health and hospitals. Over the past three years, we've increased hospital funding by 50% to make up for years of cuts and neglect. Now, I'll expand GP super clinics, establish local community boards, and make sure we train an extra 3,000 new nurses and 1,300 GPs to improve patient care. Together, let's move Australia forward. Authorised Dan Martin, Australian Labor Party, Canberra. I'm committed to moving Australia forward. That starts with a strong economy and the budget to surplus by 2013. I'm committed to stronger borders, cracking down on people smugglers and a new approach on population. Not a big Australia, but a sustainable Australia with major investment in solar and other renewables, first class schools, a strong economy, a sustainable Australia. Together, let's move Australia forward. Authorised Dan Martin, ALP Canberra. Our nation faces many new challenges, and I know for sure that the old politics of negativity just won't work. We're a nation of just 23 million. To compete, we must be a smarter nation. That's why we're investing so much into our schools. Our kids will get the individual attention they need. We did better than practically all other countries through the GFC. But now with the China mining boom receding, we need a new way to drive the economy forward. We must work with business to grow the economic pie. I want to see Australia make things the world needs, creating new jobs. We need to diversify our economy, build the new industries of the future and not have all our eggs in one basket. I'm optimistic about Australia's future. I believe we can meet any challenge the world throws at us, but it means we need a better way, a smarter way, a new way to secure Australia's future. Authorised G. Wright, ALP Canberra. This election, Labor will have 100 positive policies. We'll keep weekend penalty rates, make multinationals pay their fair share of tax, stop $100,000 university degrees. We'll make health number one, protecting Medicare. And Labor's Your Child, Our Future will mean every child at every school gets more individual attention. But 100 positive policies can't fit into one ad, so they'll all be right here. Bill Shorten and Labor, we'll put people first. Authorised by G-Rite for the ALP Canberra.